My name's Barnes. Uh, yes, Mr. Barnes. Uh, we're doing some uh, research on answering services for uh, a Fortune magazine. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Oh, sure. Uh, I'm making coffee. I'll, I'll wash out some more cups. Uh, thanks. Thanks very much. <clears throat> Francis, the minute she gets on the phone, turn on that tape recorder. Are you sure about this, Inspector Barnes? It's Mr. Barnes, you we had. I'm going to get a promotion for Cosmos joints. But just because the law arrests all those girls from all the loan farm doesn't mean that every answering service is a front for a lonely heart. She seems like such a nice girl. Why don't you sit down? Uh, no thanks, we'll stay. Well, uh, now, uh, what can I tell you? switchboard operator in a lingerie house. Pretty dull, except for a little modeling on the side. Modeling on the side? <laughs> uh, but here it's also personal. I get to talk to so many different kinds of people and can give each one the particular kind of help he needs. My cousin Sue thinks I spend too much time on each one. She says get it over with fast and on to the next. Yes, yeah, of course. Madame Grimaldi's. Is Madame at home? No, the Madame is out. Are you her entrance service girl? Oh, there are several of us. Which girl do you want? The mustard plaster one. Oh, that's me! <laughs> Madame Grimaldi raved, so uh, could you give me the formula? And how much do you charge? Charge? Oh, for a friend of Madame Grimaldi's, it's free. <laughs> okay, sister, hang on. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, sir. Goodbye. This. Get your toothbrush and come along. My toothbrush? What's going on here? What do you do? I work here. Then you better come along too. Why, girls, what are these men doing here? Who's she? I happen to own this place. That's who's she. What do you want? We're closing up this joint. You're all coming along. Women's house of detention. Inspector Barnes, vice squad. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew you'd get us in trouble. I warned you. But, but Inspector, what did we do wrong? I'll let you speak to yourself. Madam Grimaldi? No, the madam is out. There are several of us. Which girl do you want? Oh, that's me. Charge? Oh, for a friend of Madam Grimaldi. Which one are you for that? Oh, that's Madame Grimaldi, the opera star. And I just happened to recommend this mustard plastic to her for a cold and a friend of hers and... Oh! Have you got a dirty mind? All right, Inspector. You take me down to that women's house of detention. When I get through with you, I'll have you demoted to a chicken, Inspector. And? Here's our list of subscribers, Inspector. Okay, so I made a mistake. Ha! Maybe. Always in such a hurry to uncover a crime. I keep telling him, get the evidence like all the others do. Shut up. <laughs> Lich! Expedite the wild expansion program on an overall 
fucked up building such a vision. <laughs> uh, 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 professor, Professor, he'll tell you what's been going on here. I'll be around and I'll be listening in. Monitoring the phones? Personal or friendly talk or direct contact, little lady. And I close this joint. But quick. Come on, Francis. Please take care of this. You know, it's illegal to pass on information to subscribers, even for a mustard plastic. Francis! Oh, dear, you are. When I came in, the inspector was about to take us all to the women's detention hall. Kramer Music Company? Message for Kramer. This is Morty Hopper of the Pyramid Club. We need some songs fast. So Friday, 10 a.m., we're going to have a lot of songwriters in to peddle their fish. Got that? Okay. Friday, 10 a.m., Pyramid Club, songwriters auditions. Thank you. Hey, what an opportunity for Dr. Kitchell. He could take one of his songs down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Aw, oh, but if he could just sell one song, he could change his whole life. Oh, all right, but what business is that of yours? Oh, Dr. Kitchell is a dentist who'd rather be a songwriter. Oh, I see, I see. Now, girls, girls, don't fight. Tomorrow morning, we will all get a fresh start. <laughs> Nine? Well, I'll free the shame. Oh, well, Sandor. Are we going to eat dinner? Oh, my dear Zoof, I am desolate. But I must go to an important board of directors meeting of Titanic Records and tell them of our new million dollar expansion program for new Zazansophone. <laughs> oh, yes. So, so you know, I, I seem to have nothing but uh, 20s and 50s with me. Uh, could you have a few singles to spare? You know the scare drivers. <laughs> oh, you know, when you don't you don't want to make changes. It's really yeah. difficult. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, girls. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Suzanne's her phone? Larry Hastings calling. Any messages? Does Jeffrey Moss call? Uh, no, uh, but Blake Barton, the actor, called. Wanted to know if there's a part for him in your new production, The Midas Touch. Blake Barton? That, that imitation Marlon Brando? Listen, I'm only interviewing actors who show up dressed in a suit and without a mouthful of marbles. Oh, thank you. I mean, goodbye. Ella, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just calling Blake Barton. Ella! Uh, yeah, Blake Barton here. Uh, Suzanne's her phone. Uh, hiya, girl. It takes a lot for that tip the other day, but I guess they didn't like me. They were looking for a Rex Harrison type. Yeah, English. So I said, what's the matter with me? I speak English. I was so disappointed, I fell off my motorcycle. No messages. Crazy, girl. Crazy. You mean I can't even tell him about wearing a suit and about his marbles? That's none of your business. Oh. Well, that's the way it's going to be like around here. I might as well be back at the Bonjour Tristes Brazier Company. Oh, Ella, I'm sorry, but I worry about you. I mean, all these people on the switchboard you think of as your friends, you don't really know them. They don't care about you. Yeah, and that includes the sleeping princess. Yes, Jeffrey Morse, he's just another telephone number, too. All right, you're right. It's crazy, ridiculous, it doesn't make sense.